Hey, what's a really easy way to explain ETTR, a very important principle in photography, which means exposing to the right. It means the furthest amount of saturation you can give to your shots without blowing the highlights. Once your highlights are blown, recovering them is very slightly possible, but in practicality, it's impossible. So here we have our highlights and here we have our shadows. Now, obviously on any exposure, it would be wonderful if everything in any shot were just like this, right? You fill the bowl up, you have perfect exposure, right? Well, obviously there's no such thing as a perfect shot. We have highlights, which is the bowl, and we have our shadows, okay? It's easier to fill up our bowl on our highlights because they're already illuminated. They need less. All exposure is gain in time, gain in time, aperture and shutter speed. So. Obviously, if I'm gonna take a shot, I'm gonna make an exposure, I'm gonna fill these both up the same. Okay, this is gonna be a typical shot. Okay, so right now my highlights and my shadows are obviously equally exposed, but my highlights are only say, I'll say a stop and a half away from being completely exposed. Anything over that, I'm gonna blow my highlights, right? But my shadows, let's say they have about five stops or four and a half stops here to perfect exposure. So without doing HDR photography and normal photography, we have an issue where our shadows require this much for correct exposure and our highlights require this much and going over is going to cause what? Blowing highlights. So what's the simple fact of photography? Shadows, highlights, say we have someone that's backlit and we don't have a speed light with us or we have don't have a reflector with us what is the principle of ettr now this will be the typical exposure or maybe less everything is about s and r which is single to noise ratio it means the more empty space we have here which isn't much okay that's wonderful on my highlights but i have woo, four stops four and a half stops on my shadows it means getting any details out of my shadows is going to be really hard. The principle of ETTR, or exposing to the right, the easiest way to actually to think of exposing to the right is fill your exposure up, and both of these things are exposures, okay? Highlights and shadows are both part of the shot, which are both part of exposure. ETTR means fill it up as much as you could fill it up. This is the really, really easy way to understand ETR. So this is, I'm gonna show you what ETTR is, okay? So, let me balance this correctly here. Okay, so now my shadows my highlights have maxed out. I basically could go a hair more. But now anything more and my highlights are gonna go, right? Overexposure, blown highlights. This level, water level here is the same as the water level here. Now I have perfect exposure on my highlights, but now instead of four and a half stops on my shadows, for example, I have say two, two and a half stops on my shadows. By ETTR, which, like I said, in really simple terms, in understanding, this is all exposure. Shadows and highlights, it's all one thing, it's exposure. ETTR just means saturating your sensor. Remember those two words, sensor saturation. Let's repeat it two more times. Sensor saturation, sensor saturation, sensor saturation. By saturating your sensor, you give yourself the best SNR which means signal to noise ratio. Here it's nearly perfect, okay? My, my highlights are saturated to the point where they're almost ready to spill over and you don't want them to spill over. Now I could do this number and crank up everything. I said, well, I can expose for my highlights, but yeah, I'm exposed for my shadows, but now my highlights are spilling over. That's no good. And still my shadows are not perfectly exposed. You know, that practicality doesn't work that way. Okay, so I'm going to be exposing my highlights and my shadows to the maximum. This is ETTR. You're not blowing your highlights and you're exposing your shadows to the max. This is the fundamental important principle in photography.
called ETTR. I think I made a super, super simple video on this topic right now that anybody could understand. Okay? Sensor saturation and S and R. If you don't know what those mean, look them up. Sensor saturation is really simple. It's like you fill a cloth full of water and it won't hold any more water. You've saturated it. And the same thing happens with your sensor when it comes to light. Okay, I hope you like this video. If you like it, you can drop me a buck or two. You can tell me to jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you happy. I want you to understand things very simply. Because if I can't explain things simply, then you yourself, meaning me, doesn't understand them correctly. Which I do. Thank you for watching. Bye.